welcome to the MBS show, episode number 123, or 123 for short. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Rom. What's happening, all you happy people? Hey, Rom. How are you doing, man? I am awesome, because I'm part of the team. <laughs> what team? The OK team. Uh, all team. Oh, that team. We're the best around. Uh, Nobody's going to ever take us down. <laughs> if you say so, Rom. If you say so, Rom. But anywho, Rom, it's a special recording, right? Kind of. Special? Oh yeah, it's our 123rd episode, yay! Well, Bring out the fireworks and crackers. Not really, besides um, us on the 123 episode, which is funny to say, 123, um, we're doing this on your live stream, right? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Hello, live stream people! Wow, you can forget about your own live stream, eh? Alright. I'm caught in my work like... Uh, bee cotton honey. <laughs> I don't think we can be quite... Uh, you know, I, I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. By I, that, I mean be, work hard and forget about everything else because this is my love. This is my bread and butter, yo. But okay. enough about me. Let's move on. Okay, okay. But anywho, um, welcome there. Six live views, uh, live stream views. Hope you enjoy the show, even with all the derps. But we'll be censored later on. <laughs> Don't forget, spoilers! <laughs> yeah, cool. But anywho, also joining us, guest host for this week is Mindless Gonzo. Hello. Hey Gonz, how you doing, man? I'm okay. You sound tired. What happened? I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> Alright. So, let me guess. We have all three time zones, right? Asia, Europe, and the US? Yep. That is Which rare. Things up, I guess. That is rare. Now we need Australia to finish the whole trifecta. And also China, probably. I, I don't know. There's probably continents. I don't really know. But anywho, Gonzo, how are you doing, man? I'm alright. So, what's new with you? Uh, making sure that uh, I get stuff ready for uh, BronyCon. Ooh. Uh, because, well, I'm going to be a co-vendor there. And uh, it's going to be my first time because I'm going to be flying. Ooh. I'm going to be flying towards a con instead of taking a train. That's cool. You know what? Let's save that for the time that will be late, known as guest time, but not really guest time. Let's save it for that. <laughs> Anyhow, let's move on to the next topic. And Rom, it's your time to shine. Yay! Ladies and gentlemen, I am Romuald, and this is the MB Show News Time. This year is the year of the Maniac, SDCC MLP comic issue number 21 revealed. A few weeks ago, we mentioned that the exclusive merchandise that was available at Hasbro's SDCC booth was a model figure of Maniac and Humdrum and an Equestria Girl Maniac doll. At the IDW booth, you can get the convention edition of the 21st issue of the MLP comic. The cover features the Maniac, and it also includes an exclusive first look at the My Little Pony Annual 2014, featuring the debut of Power Ponies. Links can be found in the show notes below. Yay! So, Hasbro has been really pushing the power... No, power ponies, yes. I want to say power puff girls. Why? Yeah, but the power ponies, they're really pushing that. And it shows. Because this year, Hasbro's booth is showing the power pony maniac molded figure, the Equestria Girl dolls, and also IDW is holding, well, the 21st issue maniac variant cover or convention cover. So, this year is all about the maniacs. That's cool. She's a maniac, maniac. <laughs> okay, good one, Rom. Good one. I can't believe we're glorifying a villain. <laughs> oh, Crazy why not? villain. <laughs> oh, my. What, uh, what Gon says is true. Remember the last time that Hasbro glorified a villain? Like, think about it really carefully. The last time that they did that. Discord? Uh, Probably, yes. Uh, that's the only one I can think of right now. I don't know. Um, I'm not trying to remember which villain we're talking about because <laughs> we got, we ended up having to deal with a lot, with several villains or antagonists, and some of them got pretty popular amongst the fans. Mm, true, but I think Discord was the closest one because he had an entire day dedicated to him on Hasbro's um, hub. In other words, they just find the episodes where he had a hand in it. Indeed. But this one is <laughs> awesome. Uh, Maniac being at San Diego Comic Con, like a whole convention or a whole um, year dedicated to her. Because that's rare. 
well, pony related that is, because yeah, um, they also have their GIE Joes and also have their what you might call this Transformers. Yeah. But anywho, um, Rom, anything to say? I'm seeing that you're looking at the screen. Yep. I really like her mane. <laughs> Crazy maniac. But anywho, if we don't have anything more to add, we can move on. Okay, okay. In other news, Funko's SDC MLP exclusive are a black version of Spitfire and DJ Pond 3. Last year's Funko's SDCC MLP exclusive was a crystal variant of Rainbow Dash and Derpy Hooves. This year, we are bringing us a large variant of the Spitfire and DJ Pond 3 Mystery Mini. Please can be found in the show notes below. Yay! So, yeah, this year, Funko is releasing... Black? Yeah, I know. <laughs> but isn't... I'm looking at the images, and isn't the uniform blue? Yeah, here's the thing, Gonzo. Um, these are convention variants, and in the Funko uh, minifigures, or the mystery minis, uh, they decided to make everything black. Like, all their coats are black, except for the mains. For c- certain characters, except... That, yeah. That's kind of show inaccurate. Uh, yeah, but that's the mystery minis. They're kind of strange that way, which is a strange decision they decided to take, but not hated. It was pretty cool because um, for the mystery minis this second time around, they have three uh, short accurate colors, which was Princess Twilight Sparkle, Trixie, and Discord. So other figures are just black, well, which is still... Um, puzzling in my books, but still, this is this is fun. This is fun, and looking at a huge black version of those characters, I don't know. If you like it, you like it, I guess. And if you don't like it, you must be a part of the KKK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's still happening here in the states. I I, I know. I I heard stories. <laughs> <clears throat> but still, but still. Indeed. Pol- political views aside. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, this whole black and white figures, it's like the it's probably it's like the iPhone. <laughs> One's gonna be more expensive than the other. Yeah. And uh, don't forget the black one. Don't which forget one, the black which one, one. Which one was like more expensive, the black one or the white one? Oh sorry, I forgot. The gold one, not black, sorry, gold. Gold? gold. Yeah, there's a gold iPhone. What? Yeah. When? It was released okay. at the same time with the black, white, and gold. I don't know. It's strange. Watch. Watch. Is it exclusive for uh, people who make a certain amount of money per year? I don't think so. But you know what? When you buy the cover, it's still going to look whatever color you have. And yes, Rom, mm-hmm. you're looking at the pictures. Yes, it does exist. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've never, been, I've never been a big fan of Apple. Uh, no comment here. Uh, no comment Anyways, here. I can't Shall afford we move on? Apple. I can't afford Apple anyway. Oh, really? Like, how bad is it for you, Gons? I'm only living on seven hundred odd uh, dollars a month. Hmm. Okay. That explains. That explains a lot. But don't you have a phone plan over there that you can get the phone for dirt cheap? <sighs> nah. Anyways, uh, the only the only thing I got over here. Um, some some people are very uh, crazy uh, providing providing their uh, so, their phone services and whatnot, like uh, you know the big companies like uh, Verizon, AT and T, mm-hmm. and uh, people like that. Luckily, there's this. Um, luckily, there's some kinds of phones that are pay as you go, and there's also this um, one program called SafeLink, which uh, gives you so many odd minutes for free. Huh. When you, if you qualify for it. That That is interesting. Still, at least you get a phone and that is cheap, right? Yeah, a cell phone, yeah. It doesn't have a, like a lot of features like a bloody iPhone would, but um, it's, when you're living in tough economic times, a cell phone is really essential. Mm, true. As long as you can call and text, that's the most important part. Yeah, some people want to have that, uh, oh, shall we say, the ability to check their weather, to read, to, uh, read books, to take selfies. <laughs> uh, no comment on those, man. No comment on those. But to me, I, I think most important is text calls. And, well, if you have a net 
um, internet connection on the phone that allows you to go on Facebook, Twitter, or even Tumblr, that's good too. Had a bonus, I think. But anywho, those are the news, Rob. I am Romeo Old, and this has been the MBS Show News. Back to you, Norman. Yay, thank you, Rob. Thank you. That was awesome. My pleasure. So, anywho, that's news time, and let's move on to, well, since we don't have a guest, but we do have a guest host time, I'm going to call it Gonzo time. Hey, Gonzo, how are you doing? <laughs> hey, I, I will come up with a creative name when I can think of it. Uh, I'm not blaming you on that, nor am I con- condoning it. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to go along with it, so... <laughs> Uh, yeah, whining. <laughs> but anywho, but anywho, how are you? How are you doing? How are you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm pretty good. Hmm, that's good to know. So, Brony Coney this year? Yeah, it's going to be a pretty big convention as this normally is because BronyCon is one of the, you know, the most major Brony convention pretty much in the states because a lot of people are going to be there, and um, it's how can I say this? Is really hype and popular, and it's the biggest one in the whole Brony community? As far as I know, it's so big that people can just uh, be very cutthroat about uh, things, because with a lot of people comes a lot of potential customers, and, uh, well, people who want to uh, try to get into the vendor hall, they all they all have to, like, um, strive to get in that vendor hall. <laughs> and I can uh, imagine why, I mean... Yeah, I can just imagine, because I, recent, I, I remember that Pixel Kitty said that her booth was cleaned out within the first hour. Wow. Well, yeah. Seriously? S- mm-hmm. Some people, yeah, some people are lucky enough for that. And there's also the, you know, the uh, companies like Leo Fine. There was a sci-fi booth that I'm trying to remember because it had a, like a, it had like a crap ton of uh, science fiction um, memorabilia that uh, they were get, they were selling. How did that like, work, man? Did they did they sell any? Well, they also well they also they also sold pretty good because they also had like advanced copies of uh, uh, the Equestrian Girls DVD and beat and a uh, Blu-ray disc, so they probably <laughs> had a lot of good business. Mm, okay. <laughs> not only that, not only that, I imagine thanks to uh, people like uh, Jitterbug Jive and those who deal with uh, Doctor Who's and assistant and mm. uh, stuff like that, um, they probably also got uh, a whole lot of uh, bronies who happen to be Whovians. Hmm. Uh, fans of the show Doctor Who, and they probably have like they have some uh, toys and special gift, special uh, things there that they probably have sold too. <sighs> okay, that's cool. I, I hope you get to. I hope you get a chance to see them in action this year. And for those who do not know, when is BronyCon? BronyCon 2014 is in two weeks' time, August 1st, 2014. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, I'm a little anxious about this. Yeah, because it starts, it start, it's pretty much going to go for August 1st to the 3rd. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm a little anxious too. Yeah, my, I got it on uh, PonyCon's app on the mobile. <laughs> but anywho, I'm looking at their oh. guests of honor. They have Andrea Liebman. Andy Price, Claire Corlett, Daniel Ingram, Jim Barrow, Heather Brackell, Ian James Corlett, Big Jim Miller. Wow, there's a lot of people there. They invite James Haber, Katie Cook, Kazumi Evans, Peter New, Rebecca Shortcat, uh, Sibzi, Tabitha St. Germain, Terry Kalesa, yeah. and Tony Fleece. I don't know how to pronounce that one. But anywho, they have a lot of people. Uh, yeah, and uh, this is the reason why BronyCon is pretty much a major deal. They always try to get um, star, a lot of stars of honor, people within the my people within the My Little Pony community, and pretty much from the My Little Pony show or uh, the comics or uh, whatever have you um, mm-hmm. to come in and well, you know, just either sit there, look pretty, or try to give an experience to those who want to uh, dove into the dirt respective fields that sounds cool and awesome and i'm jelly of you because you may get a chance to meet tabitha Jerry. i don't know um because like i said um i ended up signing up to be a co-vendor for uh, an associate of ours a guy who does chain mail uh arts and crafts projects mm-hmm. and uh, he's pretty good He's a he's a handy little guy out of the uh, military gronies uh, subsect. Uh, he, uh, he has a, a Tumblr, not Tumblr. Well, I'm not sure I want to mention his Tumblr because it's this is a PG-13 deal. Ah, uh, yeah, true, true. Uh, 
but I can safely say that he has a DeviantArt account that he demonstrates some of his uh, chain making projects, like uh, uh, he doing a chain, uh, auto mail, um, an auto chain mail um, Celestia chest plate. Oh, uh, dog tag necklaces, um, bracelets, and I think he did a, a chain mail figure of Spike, although it's a kind of. That's cool. Ooh, link sweet. it to me. Link it to me, and I'll see if it's okay or not. Yeah, he's gonna be. He's gonna. He ha, he has a booth um, at the con, and uh, I might. I volunteered myself because I was about to be very demanding of money because <laughs> I would have to end up getting myself a hotel room, and those pretty and those are pretty costly, especially around the uh, <laughs> Bay Area of Baltimore. Uh, understandable, man. Those. Those hotel rooms around this time of the year, when they know there's a big convention going on, they will jack up the price. It's not just the convention because I've noticed something weird that happened last year, and it's also happening th- again this year. It's not just that BronyCon that some of the people are going to be uh, jacking up the prices for on their hotel rooms. Oddly enough, during BronyCon is when the when the local baseball team, the Baltimore Orioles. Mm-hmm. Uh, have some home games that's happening in uh, Baltimore Orioles Stadium, which is relatively close uh, in perspective of the uh, Baltimore Convention Center. That's interesting. So all those um, Oreo fans will be going then? Yeah. Yay, Oreos. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I got no idea about baseball. Yeah, just... It, it, it's one of America's pastimes. You probably don't want to dive into that too much. I played the Wii version of baseball in Wii Sports. That was confusing. Anyways, I linked you guys the deviant art of this guy's chainmail projects. Ah, okay. But other than that, wow, that looks good. Like, praise the sun quality good. You know, I- I'll just link it there, and I-, I hope people will take a look-see, and you know, if they're going to uh, BronyCon, might take a look-see and probably, probably yeah, purchase it. We won't be too hard to find. I mean, we will be we will be right next to Little Miss Jay's booth. <laughs> oh God! Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Yeah, that's a that's a good uh, little uh, image to put in your head. We're going to be right next to a you know not yeah, safe right. artist. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> I, no, no oh, problem, Ben. Well, Oh well, Jay's cool. He's a cool guy to hang out with. Ah, oh, that's cool. That's also cool. a bit quirky at times, but he's a cool guy. Ah, uh, that's cool. That's cool. But anyhow, um, those looks awesome. So, Gons, uh, we've been talking about the convention and stuff. But what about you? What would what would you be doing there besides mending the booth? Well, I'm hoping to um, look around and get some awesome uh, con merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's about it. I, I, I can respect that because, hey, um, I might be going to a convention pretty soon, too. And I'm hoping to get a bag full of merch. Uh, yeah, hopefully there will be some around Southeast Asia that it could be easy, accessible for you. Because, well, even for me, BronyCon is pretty expensive. Oh, yeah, I mean, come on. Like, me going to a con near here would be um, Cantalot U. And I heard a lot of good things about Cantalot U. They did one recently, and, and it took off the ground pretty well. So maybe next year, a booth, or probably a panel, or maybe just going there just for the fun of it. Who knows? But so, Gons, that's about it, really? I'm not doing anything else? Well, um, I don't know, because um, well, I'm pretty much asked to... Uh, keep- mind the booth, but uh, I will be hanging out with uh, some good friends. Aside of the giant snow, um, I'm pretty much staying with uh, one of our, uh, one of my friends, actually a few of my friends, um, the Inverted Shadow from the uh, Gary's Mod community, and uh, T-Bone 2014, a uh, ranter, commentator, uh, that I've known through the uh, Mini Arcade Show, my, <laughs> uh, pod, my friend's podcasts. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, I'm guessing people will be going in there. And I'm sure you have a lot of fans on your own outlet and channel. So where can they find this booth? Like, okay, we all know it's the Little Miss J's booth, but do you have a booth number or something like that? I, I can't remember right now. I, I used to know, but I can't remember. 
I know, I know it's hundred something. I know it's a hundred something. I just can't remember exactly. You, you know what, Guns? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, if you do remember, link it to me, and I'll put it in the show notes. But any messages for your fans who might be um, looking for you? I'll be easily accessible. <laughs> <laughs> All you got also all you got to do is just find the Limitless J's booth and look to probably the left, <laughs> and uh, it'll be <laughs> I'll be right there, hopefully. Yay, you'll be right there, <laughs> hopefully. I'll probably make money off the autographs I sell, which is probably <laughs> not enough. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> oh, autograph, eh? Also, you bug me, I'll charge you five bucks just to put up with you. <laughs> wow So hanging out with you is five bucks eh What about twenty Could I punch you in the face I can't be violent Otherwise I get kicked out uh, Alright anyway I was joking Please people don't pay him twenty bucks to punch you in the face It was a joke please no <laughs> But anyway you have yourself a good time man Um, I, I'm jelly of you Because you get to go and I don't But eh everyone has their ups and downs Anyway, gents, if we have nothing to add, we can move on. If you say so. Okay. So, anywho, Gons, thank you for telling us about your plans for BronyCon and where to find you. So, it's booth 100 something, eh? <laughs> Next to Little Miss Jay's booth. Alright. So, anywho, let's move on to shout outs. So, my shout out goes to you, Rom. Thank you for, well, hosting me on your live stream and being an awesome guy. My pleasure. And. Second one goes to you, Gons. Thank you for, well, coming on and telling us stories about your soon-to-be adventurous adventure at BronyCon. I should be asleep by now. <laughs> you just you say you just woke up. What time is it for you, man? 12.55 p.m.? <laughs> you rock star, you. More like I'm just a lazy... I'm just a lazy nocturnal guy. Uh, uh, me too, I understand. And my other shout out goes to Puffy. Thank you for being there and being my number one fan and, well, just supporting. You're awesome. Yay! So, anyway, uh, Rom, what about you? Shout out to my mom. Hi, mom! Hello, Miss Rommel's mom. It's Mrs. Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. is when someone's not married. Oh, my bad. Uh, Miss is when you're not married, Mrs. is when you're married. Ooh, my bad. Ooh. <laughs> Did I do it intentionally? Maybe? Or I'm just a dumbass? Don't worry, Mom. He's just a dumbass. But I still love him. Because he's my boss. Uh, your mom listens to this. Really? Uh, kind of. Oh, yes. God. Oh, God. I'm sorry, ma'am. Oh, God. But anyhow, um, that's all wrong? Yes. All right. Gons, what about you? I'd like to give a shout-out for BronyCon for putting up with me. Because this <laughs> whole thing is... This whole thing was taxing on my sanity. I mean, the planning, the trying to get the refund from going uh, just a normal three day pass guest to a go to like a co vendor or an assistant to a co vendor. The fact that I have to book a flight, <laughs> two flights, <laughs> one way. Well, and hopefully, thank and hopefully you. there is a god that I can shout out to in <laughs> hopes that I don't die. I be- <laughs> Flying between these places. <laughs> I hope you have a fun experience, Gonzo. I do hope that. I hope so too. Oh, also have to mention thank you to the people at Rom's live stream, um, Farana, uh, Puffy, and Ra- Rogue. How do I say Rogue Hunter? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hun- Hun- Rogue Hunter. Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't read. Anywho, with that. Let's end the show, guys. Let's end the show. So, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbshow.gmail.com. If you would like to reach us personally, links are in the show notes. Also, you can catch us on the Twitters. The MBS Show account is at the MBS Show. Sweetie Bot will technically talk about editing the show or anything else. She's She rarely touched the Twitter. I don't know why. And you can catch me at Norman Sanzo. I tweet about toys, food, and whatever, t- whatever tickles my fancy. And what about you, Rom? You can find me at my Twitter at twitter.com slash showmewall the Z69. Or my Tumblr, askjitterylines.tumblr.com. Or my mod blog, relicious.tumblr.com. 
Yeah, and you, Gonzo? Where can they find you? Uh, you can find me on my YouTube channel, Mindless Gonzo. They can find me on my Tumblr, although it's highly not recommended. Mindless Gonzo Jam. Uh, I've also got a I also got a DeviantArt, uh, the same name, Mindless Gonzo. And uh, there's too many places for me to list. So I'll just keep it to those three for right now. I'll link everything in the show notes. I'm sure I had those linked out there somewhere. <laughs> and from a previous show, maybe. Yes, possibly. But anywho. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. Yes, we have the Facebooks. You can also catch us on PonyvilleLive.com. Links will be provided in the show notes. So, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am Romy Wald. And I'm out of here. <laughs> Yay, Brony Con in two weeks' time. I'm not going, I'm jelly. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Bye bye. Bye.